When you're working on your project in Adobe After Effects and you want to quickly place some text behind your subject, the quickest and easiest way to do this is with a plugin called Mask Prompter Plugin. Now I have a separate video on my channel which shows you how to install it. But once you've got it installed, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and select yourself the video layer and press Control or Command and D. You want to get yourself a copy of it and we're going to search for it in the effects and presets. Now the Mask Prompter plugin will be under the Blaze and you want to drag and drop this onto your video. Now once you've got yourself the Mask Prompter plugin, you have two main options when it comes to selecting your subject. Now the first way is to point target your subject. You would activate the first one and select this button right here. This will give you this target point which allows you to either target your subject or you can left click and move this anywhere on your video to target anything else in the background or in your video. Now, the only downside to this is that you will need to keep this within your subject the whole time. Otherwise, if it goes outside of your subject, it will start to lose that connection. Now, personally, my favorite is the second way, which is the box method. For this one, you would get yourself the shape tool, make sure it's on the mask mode, and selecting your video, you would left click, drag this out and get yourself a box selection around your subject. You then want to left click on here for the path and set it to mask one. And what this will do is it will connect it up and mask out your subject. Now, as you can see by the preview, the edges are looking a little bit rough and they're not quite as good as we want them to be. What we can do is we can scroll down on the effects now you'll also notice you have the mode near the bottom, which allows you to switch between overlay, matte, or you can switch to a transparent preview. Now for this one, you will need to hide this layer in order to see the preview and enable the transparency mode near the bottom. Now, like I said before, at the moment, the edges aren't looking so sharp, and this is because the mode is set to fast. All of these different modes have different advantages and disadvantages. Now, the only downside to the quality is that the higher that you change this to, the more demanding it's going to be on your system. And this is when the bottom option comes into play, because if you have a dedicated graphics card, such as a NVIDIA graphics card, you can enable the hardware acceleration, which will speed up the process and it will load it a lot quicker. Since we set it to the detailed map, this one is by far the best because it really focuses on the details. So you will need to play around and see which one works best. We can also set the edge enhancement to something like, let's say, small, medium, or high. What we need to do now is we need to minimize this and we're going to bring this one back and we're going to also get ourselves the text tool. You just want to left click and type in anything that you wanted to say. We can also press Control or Command and A to select it all. We can change the color, the font, and the size as well right here. Now, another cool thing for this as well is that you can enable the 3D mode near the bottom if you switch the mode. And this will allow you to play around with the different positions. You can do the rotations and give your text a really cool look to it. Now, at the moment, the text is in front of the person. And what we need to do is we need to move this one in between the first and second video. And there we go. We now have the text behind the subject. We can also animate the text or do anything with this text right here. Now, sometimes you may run into this problem where if your mask is limited to this location only, sometimes it can lose track of your subject. Now let's say yours disconnected right here at the elbow. What you would do is you would simply open this up, open up the mask, get yourself a keyframe on the path, and then move this one further back. And what you would do is with the mouse tool, you would left click, drag this down to only select these two, and then animate this to expand. And as you can see, this will now focus on the elbow right here. And of course, this isn't the best way because if your subject is moving a lot, you would have to manually track every single frame or every few frames. 
So personally, the best way to deal with this is definitely with the auto tracking. With the auto tracking, it's really simple. All you need to do is get yourself the mask once again. You would select yourself the subject while selecting the video. And to track this mask, all you need to do is open up the tracker panel. You want to set this to position, scale, and rotation. And then once you're happy with your mask, you just want to press play and start tracking. And this will just automatically track this area without you having to do it yourself. It will be a lot more accurate and so much easier. And then from here, you would press stop or wait for it to finish. And once again, get yourself the mask prompter plugin. Apply this onto your video and set it to mask one. And if we have a look at this, you can see the person is now masked out and the box is always staying within the subject. But with that being said, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this video. And as always, I will see you all in the next video.